This video is going to quickly go over how to add portfolio items and all the different options you can do within the portfolio. So let's go ahead and add a new page. We're going to create the portfolio. So over here in the right hand sidebar we need to choose the portfolio template and hit publish. Now that we have the portfolio page created, we can actually add items. So in the portfolio custom post type, just click add new portfolio item. Set the featured image. Just going to add some photos that I have on my computer here. So you can select the image that you want to use and set it as featured image. Add a title to the portfolio item. And go grab some filler text. Paste it into here. And I need to add a category. This is the category used to create the different filters on the portfolio page. So just set it to people and publish the item. Now that we have it created, let's go ahead and add this portfolio page to our menu so we can easily get to it. We just need to select the portfolio page and add it to the menu. Don't forget to save the menu. And now when you reload the front end, you'll see that there's a portfolio link. And there you go, we have our first portfolio item. It has the content within the card. You can read all about it. Also, if you click the image, it shows the reveal. If you click the link, it opens up the single portfolio page. So if we go back and you click on the reveal, you might be thinking there's a lot of text here. You can actually shorten that up by adding a read more link. So let's go and edit this portfolio item. And then find where we want to shorten it up to, like say right here. And then in the kitchen sink up here, there's this read more tag. Just insert that, update the page. And if we reload the front end, you can see when you reveal, there's a little read more link now. Click that, it goes to the single portfolio item. Now let's go to our dashboard and add another portfolio item. So from dashboard, let's add a new portfolio item. Set the featured image. Add a new category for this. and copy some filler text again put it in here give it a short little title and this time I'm gonna set up the slider so click this button 
and within the media library you can pick several images. So I'm just going to pick a couple images, hit select, you can see here they're, that they're added to the slider image section. I'll also insert a read more tag here. Now if you publish, and go and refresh the front end, you'll see that our new item is here. We've also added several categories, so now it's filterable. Now I'll read more tags in there. If we click into view the project, you notice that the slider images have been added. Pretty cool. If you go back to the portfolio, you'll notice that this is a three column layout. There's room for one more image. If we go into our options panel and portfolio, you can actually change the columns of the portfolio right here. So we'll change it to two column, save changes, reload the front end. And you see that it's now in two columns. Go back to the dashboard, set it back to three columns, save changes, reload the front end. You'll see that it goes to three column. Let's go back to two column, save changes. Run a little slow for some reason. Reload. Back to two columns. Gonna reveal, still shows the content. Now we're going to change the filter a little bit. So in our options here, we can show and hide. Notice that the options disappear. If we save the changes, reload the front end again, you'll see that the filter is now gone. That's a pretty cool little feature. So if we show that, we can actually change the button colors of the filter too. So let's go ahead and save those changes just to make sure that it came back. There's the filter. So let's go ahead and change the color. So I'm just select a color here, save changes, refresh. See that the buttons are now red. I'm just going to go back to the default color for now. So the view project link can also be changed. If you go into the options panel, you can change it to whatever text you want here. So view item or whatever you're calling your portfolio. So we refresh that. Notice that view project changed to view item. A pretty cool little feature. I'm going to go ahead and change it back to view project. Save those changes. So this video went over how to add a portfolio item and all the different options you can do to the portfolio. Feel free to watch our other videos to see how you can update and change this theme.